Hello and welcome to a new free Final Cut Pro 10 plugin called XFX Count Split. Well, what's it do? It's a title that defocuses the right hand side and then it splits. So as you can see, we have an image underneath, we have the right hand side that defocuses, we've got some text, and then it splits to reveal what's underneath. Let's take a closer look. You can find the free plugin on our website, industrialrevolution.com, and we'll leave a direct link in the information below on YouTube. Whilst you're there, a like, hitting the bell and comments are always welcome. So first things first, let's put another image on the timeline and we'll go and use the picture of this Aston Martin and just hit insert. Sorry if I got the car names wrong. Who knows the difference between a 911 and a Cayman? We'll see. OK, this is an Aston Martin. As you can see, we've got some black edges, so I need to increase the scale of that. And I'm going to push it over to the left a bit because we're going to defocus the right hand side and leave a bit of space here for for that. Then I'm going to find the plugin that's in titles. So over here, XFX free, XFX count split. Now to get that on, I'm actually going to hit X with a clip and that marks an in and out up to the plugin. Click on that and then Q. And there we have the title on top of the media. Now this is actually 4K, so that's why it's, it's stuttering slightly and I'm also recording. But that's not bad performance for that defocus on there. If you take a look at the inspector, not only have we got uh, direct entry to the text um, on the plugin, but we've also got build in and build out and those respect the animation. So you can have this clip as long as you like and the animation will still be the same speed. It won't speed up and it won't slow down either. And also you can toggle it on and off as you wish. If you want to change the style of the text, that's very easy. All you have to do is double click the actual title. And as you see, we've gone straight into the inspector here and all the parameters for the first bit of text. And just to prove it, I can turn the 3D text off and on. And you've got things like drop shadows, etc., on there. Now, how to get to these other two bits? Quite easy because it's a bit tricky because some of them overlap. Just use this little arrow up here. And there you go. You can flick between them. And all of the parameters for each line of text show up. And you can change those to your heart's content, change the size, change the font, um, the weight, etc. It is all up to you. You can do whatever you like in those areas. Now here's the important point, and it's the benefit of using compound clips. If you want to stack clips up on top of each other, then because this title affects everything underneath it, you have to make that into a compound clip. And that's really easy, it's just Option G. And we'll go... Hit Return, and that's actually made that into a compound clip. Now it's a compound clip, I can pick it up and put it where I like. So I can pick it up and put it over the previous shot we had of the Ferrari and you should be able to see and there we go the Aston Martin splits to reveal the Ferrari underneath and then that splits to reveal the Porsche very easy to do it's great for showing off products or cardinal listicles or anything you want in sequence it's also completely free so go ahead and download you can use it anywhere if you want more plugins and tutorials then please subscribe then you'll be the first to know when we post new videos see you on the next one bye bye